flushing the system with the barnacle uh, solution, the barnacle destroy solution. The first one is immersion, and that's when you leave it overnight. And the second one is an active one, where you create a closed loop uh, of the solution running through your system, and that takes about three to four hours. I saw lots of videos of people posting the active, the loop solution. I never saw any videos of immersion. To me, I think immersion is the best solution. Why? Because you leave it overnight, so it has much more time for the solution to work through the heat exchanger, to uh, melt anything that needs to be melted, barnacles, that actually destroys shells that made from calcium. It breaks them down into nothing and it pushes them right through the exhaust. So if I, I feel if I leave it there overnight, it will marinate. <laughs> also, by the immersion system, I will let the solution run through uh, uh, the pipes and run through the impeller because I'm going to be using, for the immersion system, I'm going to be using the impeller uh, on, the, on the raw water pump to suck all the liquid out. So the impeller is going to get cleaned, the raw water pump, the hoses, it's basically leaving the system intact but introducing an external water intake. And instead of seawater, we're using the solution, five gallons of barnacle kick-ass buster. Let's see how it works. So obviously, first step, closing the seacock, which I forgot to close. But yeah, let's close the seacock first. Okay, start an engine. Throwing water out. Took the nuts out. Let's see what's inside this guy. It's been one year that I have been taking the seagrass and all the gross stuff out. What's so important is is this here, this rubber mem membranes. I really should replace it. <laughs> that looks like, I don't know, it's fucking, it's destroyed. But I'll try to remember which way it came off. So I put it back the same way till I can replace it. Oh wow, it's pretty clean actually, I would say. I would say, I would reckon, oh that's nothing. Oh, seaweed. That's it, halos. This is our raw water supply. It needs to be at the lower point of gravity, so I'm going to place it here. The hose that's coming from the raw water inlet, the seacock, is going to be fed into the bottom of the bucket right under the water as long as the water the, the, the hose is submerged in water there will be a closed circuit circuit created and the impeller on the raw water uh, pump will act as the force of sucking the solution out from the bucket the seacock is closed um, i'm releasing the cable from the raw water strainer and I'm going to introduce another hose between the raw water strainer and the bucket. I'm also going to remove the strainer inside. There is really no real damage that could happen from uh, the solution running through the strainer inside, but it's just not necessary. That's it. Good boy, good boy. Okay, Jimmy, show me. This one is gone. Okay. Let's go find the hose. Barnacle buster, this is one gallon, so this is the concentrate stuff. I'm going to add it to the bucket. I'm gonna add another four uh, gallons of sweet water into here. Essentially, that's going to be our, uh, our uh, raw water supply. So, there are really two methods 
for flushing the system out. When I was, there is the immersion method and there is creating the closed loop method. Um, I found lots of videos on big, uh, you know, on, 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 on big boats and yachts that use uh, a bucket with a closed system and special hoses. It's a little bit over my head for a sailboat uh, and for a simple diesel engine. The best method is the immersion method. So what's the difference between both? The immersion method, you leave the solution inside the system uh, for overnight and you, you don't have to remove the impeller. With the closed system, uh, you remove the impeller and you, crea you create a closed loop where the water is being drawn from the bucket into the wa wa raw water strainer into the raw water pump that has the impeller taken out and into the exhaust system flushing all that stuff then coming back into the bucket so it's a closed loop what i'm doing with the immersion is i'm eliminating the use of uh, an external pump i'm just taking a hose going inside the bucket inside the solution right and in right into the raw water strainer so it's flushing the whole system including my raw water strainer, including uh, uh, my uh, uh, my raw water system, the hoses and everything. So I feel this is the best way for me to do it. By trial, this has been it gets it, it gets the most solution of barnacles uh, out from the system. You'll see once I get the once I get it going. Each payload from here is a gallon, so four of these mixed into the bucket will make for five, four to one ratio. Next, I have the bucket with the solution and five gallons of water inside, the hose inside as well. I'm going to start the engine now and watch the impeller and the raw water pump sucks all this water into the system and we leave it running so we're starting the engine now let's go take a look at the solution okay adding the rest of the gallon solution Now we can go take a look at the exhaust from here being expelled out of the exhaust. It's biodegradable, so it's safe. They say it's safe for the environment. I feel good about using it. Uh, but that's the solution being run through the system. Now I'm gonna shut the system. Uh, I'm gonna shut the engine and to leave this water inside to marinate there for overnight, we'll see. Out, out. Let's see how much water is left in the bucket. It's almost done. We should be getting ready to shut our engine. Uh, my best mate is gonna shut the engine right now. You should go ahead and shut the engine, baby. Five gallons of Buster, uh, barnacle Buster inside. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit overnight. I'm going to connect the seacock hose back into the water strainer and turn on the seacock in preparation for tomorrow once I start the engine and I will allow the seawater to flush right, flush everything out of the system. Tomorrow I'll take a video as well of, uh, of what's coming out from the exhaust system. Basically it's all the materials that have been dissolved in the heat, heat exchanger and everywhere else. It will be exerting through our exhaust system tomorrow. I left the solution in the system over the overnight and you can see the barnacle buster solution coming out uh, from the exhaust pipe.